Well, welcome to this week's Staying Connected. I'm Anne the Dean at Holy Trinity Cathedral. I sit uh, today with uh, anticipation as we await the Prime Minister's update on Monday to see if churches can begin to gather in larger numbers. Once we know after her announcement on Monday what the next phase of Level 2 will look like, we will communicate with you through our website via an email and other social media platforms what our plan for the next phase will look like. So keep an eye out for that early next week. You'll notice today that I'm sitting with the deanery behind me with all its scaffolding surrounding it. I thought you might be interested in a progress report to see what an amazing transformation is happening to this beautiful old home. The new roof is just about complete. Uh, you'll see it's no longer green, but a lovely fresh grey. Uh, the undercoat is fully on around the whole building and it is awaiting its final coat of colour. Clint Taylor, our builder, has been working to fix the many parts of the house that were in urgent need of repair. Stunt design, the painters are doing an amazing job with the painting and certified roofing have been busy replacing the roofing and the spouting. We can't wait for the work to be complete which of course has been delayed with the lockdown. Amidst settling back into the office this week, uh, although we are still closed, and the noise of sanders and nails being hammered in, I've been reflecting on one of the Gospel readings set for this week. The Gospel is John chapter 17 verses 1 to 11, where John presents his last speech, which is in fact a prayer a prayer crying out to his father, the desires of his heart, that through his actions to come, that God would be glorified. There is something here of a, the relationship between father, son and spirit, lifting one another up to be glorified. Something that Richard Raw calls the divine dance of the Trinity in which each part glorifies another, but never itself. As I have reflected on this deeply relational image, I have wondered how our actions and our relationships with one another echo the relationships between the Trinity as Jesus prayed that they would be one as we are one. How best can we lift one another up? How can we look this week for ways that we can be a blessing to others and call out the goodness in those around us and in our world? With these questions in mind, I offer this meditative prayer as we ponder God's glory in the Trinity and our response as God's as bearers of God's life in us. And so we pray. Christ passes the baton on to share the race, to keep his story growing each day alive in us. His endings, beginnings, our beginnings and endings. How do you tell which is which. The eternity of his life wheel keeps turning in us, encounters departures, sadness of loss, hopes for the new. Lord, teach us to live loosely and gently, to hold love not too tightly, to see each moment, each day as the moment each moment as a gift. Help us to give blessing to others, to call out the goodness in everything. May the Spirit of the Christ 
who hands over the work to his friends, rise in us as we become his hands. May the encouragement of Christ who steps back so that we may grow, rise in us as we seek to do his will. Amen.